The Irish people are justly proud of their heritage, but famine, war, rebellion, and immigration have disrupted Irish families and led to the loss of valuable historical records. My name is Jim Barry, and I'm part of a multidisciplinary team that is using the tools of modern genetic science and anthropology to probe the mysteries of Irish families and create a deeper and richer understanding of Irish history. I'd like to describe our project to you and ask for your support in making it a reality. This pilot project will be the first ever in Ireland of its kind. DNA testing is making increasingly important contributions to understanding our ancient heritage as well as recent family histories. But few attempts have been made worldwide and none in Ireland to test ancestral DNA, that is DNA extracted from the remains of people who lived several hundred years ago. Our project seeks to remedy that deficiency by testing DNA from the remains of Richard Barry, member of a prominent Anglo-Norman Irish family who lived from 1745 until 1783. The Barry family originated in Normandy or Flanders and accompanied William the Conqueror to England. They were subsequently rewarded with land in Wales and from Wales went to Ireland at the Cambro-Norman invasion of the 12th century. They settled initially in County Cork, where many people with the Barry surname can be found today. The Barry family held many titles, of which the most important was that of the Earls of Barrymore. When his father died in 1751, Richard Barry acceded to the title as a minor. When he died in County Waterford, his remains were removed to County Cork and placed in an above-ground mausoleum and a now deconsecrated churchyard. The remains appear to be in adequate condition for the extraction of DNA samples. We will be focusing on Y DNA, which is passed from fathers to sons. Because surnames are also passed from fathers to sons, we can use Y DNA testing to compare Richard Barry's genealogical history with his genetic history, as well as with samples extracted from other men with the Barry surname. We'll conduct the testing at two independent laboratories one at University College Dublin and the other shown here at Gene by Gene Limited in Houston, Texas. Once we've verified through forensic analysis and radiocarbon dating that these are in fact Richard Barry's remains, we'll check to see whether his DNA signature is consistent with the history of the Barry family or whether there were non-paternal events such as undocumented adoptions or out of wedlock births that disrupted the family line. We'll also compare his results with those of more than 90 men who have tested their DNA as well. The work will be carried out by a highly qualified team of forensic anthropologists, genetic scientists, and historians. Once the results have been published, we hope to do additional testing on Richard Barry's remains and expand the project to include other important Irish families. All of the team members are donating their time and funding for the project is entirely by private donation. All contributors will receive regular updates on progress, and free DNA tests will be provided for higher levels of contribution. If you would like to make a contribution, please visit our website or email me at jbarry6899 at me.com. Thank you very much, and we appreciate your support.